Dente Rigamortis. I'm Review Cultist. I'm Mikey, the U.S. stands for evil. And I'm the gamer in yellow. And we're here to discuss those internet stories, most creepy and most pasta, and be critically silly doing it. And tonight we have... Boys and girls, it's Jeffuary. Wouldn't you rather have something scary? That's a shame, cause as we peep, just a kitten says go to sleep. It's Jeffuary, everybody. Why'd you make a jingle <laughs> for something I hate? <laughs> <laughs> it also it popped into my head like half an hour before recording. <laughs> oh, great. I love it. Re- really? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, yes. I like I like song. That's good. I don't like song um, to commemorate. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That that's fair. Um, yeah, so we're doing Jeffrey Ori again this year, um, and I thought it fitting to start Jeffrey Ori 2023 with a story called Jeff Returns, because uh, it is the return of Jeff. <laughs> Game over of the return of Jeff. <laughs> but why? But why? Uh, because I like making you suffer, gamer. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I throw puns at you constantly all year round, so I'll, I'll take this as my comeuppance every year. Yeah. I won't like it, but I'll take it. Uh, that's all I can hope for. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, all of this month, all of our Jeff the Killer stories will be from Just the Kittens Wiki, because Wiki isn't allowing for Jeff, Jeff the Killer stories anymore, so... That they somebody had to make a bylaw. I, guess. I, I I don't I don't think that's the case, but I I just I know that like a lot of Jeff Jeff the Killer stories end up on like it's own, like similar to like Slenderman stories. Like Slenderman stories also end up on their own wiki eventually like because so. they're so overdone. Like they yeah. don't want they want to promote new content. <laughs> oh, oh my god, <laughs> Jeff the Killer and Slenderman were the hero so long that they became the villain of Creep Pasta. <laughs> A little bit. They were the icons bit. of Creepypasta so long that they ended up becoming the villain of the next scenario. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Jeff uh, Jeff Returns is... It was posted on Just the Kittens wiki by Tiololo. Which is a hilarious like name for not or for the website. Yeah. As Just well, the Kittens. Well, Just the Kittens, it, 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 like it's it's kind of been a jeff the killer thing for a while um has it yeah it, it like it, i don't remember how it got started i actually have to pull up like the know your meme thing as i do so <laughs> i was gonna say because you never do that so you're probably not doing that right now uh no maybe it isn't on there uh, yeah, but like it's i've I, like um I, I like since like basically early jeff the killer stuff that i came into contact with um it, it kind of was like a like a joke or ni- a joke nickname for jeff the killer stories like just the kittens to kind of make it a less like to like it's almost like a code word for it so that they don't like say jeff the killer but they say just the kittens and it's like a, okay. like a it's like it's like when um for the example uh it would be like calling uh warhammer 40k peace knife 20k um there's 30k 30, I don't know. It, 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 the point is, it's like made, they made this like grim, dark, edgy thing, and they nicknamed it something like cute and cuddly. Yes, <laughs> or they like the antithesis to it. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. I'd actually be interested if somebody wrote re, uh, wrote a Jeff the Killer story called Just the Kittens, and it had something to do with Jeff the Killer and just some kittens, <laughs> or like I don't know. He maybe has that could be one job. He kills things, and you're wanting to implement kittens into a story. What he do you think he might be do with those. He might be protecting them. He might. He might. Uh, J- uh, John Wicket. Don't. No. <laughs> he is not <laughs> become a hero. He's not going to become an anti-hero here. Conversely, we could run Call of Cthulhu and have it be just the kittens, and you're all having to like deal with a this like this like brutal long-haired cat named Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> who like is a serial killing cat yeah but um 
I, I dig it. We're not even at the rundown. We have not even done our, our initial recommendations. We have like gone full blown into actual thoughts at this point. So I'm going to stop. <laughs> That's fair. Um, but yeah, so Jeff, Jeff returns. You can check it out if you wish on Just the Kittens Wiki. Uh, and it's by Teololo. So initial recommendations. I'm not going to recommend it. I am also not recommending it. Um, I will also not recommend it, I think. I don't remember where. Yeah. No, yeah, I will not recommend it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, it's not good. <laughs> uh, but let's let's dive into that, uh, shall we, with the rundown first. Um, so Lucy was sitting comfortably in her living room until a phone call interrupted her late interrupted her late at night i was like what <laughs> interrupted her late at night <laughs> all interruptions are exactly when they're supposed to be <laughs> interrupting they're like of things. they're like wizards <laughs> if it was late a late interruption would be you finishing your sentence <laughs> or your task and then getting interrupted <laughs> at which point it isn't even an interruption anymore. i should stop talking like do the please <laughs> why am i playing the inevitable I don't know. Yeah. It's a coping mechanism. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm keeping all this in. Fuck it. Great. <laughs> um yeah, so yeah, she gets interrupted by uh for uh she, her her comfy sitting sit down in her living room gets gets interrupted while she's hanging out in her living room late at night. Boom. The caller claims to have found Lucy's lost phone, which is good. Except that the voice who calls himself Jeff has an unnaturally deep and creepy sound to it. And they want Lucy to look out her window when she asks where they can meet to pick up the phone. That's bad. (laughs) Uh, When Lucy checks the window, she initially sees nothing in her front garden until she goes to close the blinds. That's when a face appears briefly to jump scare her. She cowers away from the window as the voice from the phone, now outside her window, asks to be let in. Rather than call the police on her home phone, which she just accessed, she tries to run for the back door as Jeff breaks through the window. Lucy tries to flee over her back fence, but Jeff slasher walks over to her and pulls her back to the back garden, uh, where he proceeds to pin her down and ready to stab her with a knife. But not before saying the iconic, go to sleep. Finn. So. With that out of the way, I suppose we'll move on to Everyone Tolerates the Grammar Inquisitions! At this point, um, I've got one. The glow faded slowly as he chucked the broken compartments onto the floor. So this might be a nitpick, but I wouldn't have used floor when they are outside in the back garden. I would have used maybe ground rather than floor. Mm-hmm. Just because like, for se- like, I don't know, like, it might be a nitpick. It might not be, but like floor to me is like something inside of a building or a structure. Not it. It, it does technically. It is the ground, but it is. It's a floor inside, and it's ground outside. But that's my nitpick. Uh, that, that's me in the nitpick nook right now. So uh, I mean, and it's that's not really nitpick because I have the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. I have that as well. So you're, yeah. you're safe. As you guys just shove me off the, the nitpick nook. No, we're pulling you out of the nook. You don't need to be in there right. Now. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, then that's all I have for grammar acquisition. So, Mikey, these stands for evil. I have a rather short it story. Okay, and now an it story with Mikey. The E stands for evil. Take it away. It sounded raspy and unnaturally deep, unlike anything she'd heard before. Its wide, bulging eyeballs were surrounded by shriveled-up black eyelids, and its face was bleached white. It had a dry, bristly fringe of black hair and a smile carved into its face, almost severing the jawbone from the rest of the skull. Finn. I was really hoping it was you were it was like it was of something something like it was the phone or <laughs> it was the like, <laughs> oh god this could have become because this could have become the uh, who was phone <laughs> it was Not phone hi anything Jeff the <laughs> greatest creepy pasta of all time who was phone I apologize <laughs> you <No. should. gasps> <laughs> uh, okay. 
Um, I assume that's it for your grammar acquisition there, Mikey. I believe so. Okay. Uh, all right, on to gamer. What do you got? Let's see what I got. <clears throat> what horrified her even more was the fact that she wouldn't be able to call the police because the man would be listening right outside her house. He would be able to smash the window and get in at any. So I get what like this is saying, but I feel like it could be worded a lot better because like also he just does that anyways. But mm -hmm. like a rewording of it would be like what horrified her even more was the fact that she wouldn't be able to call the police. If she did anything to threaten him, uh, she was worried he would smash the window in and get in any minute. So basically, something to say that she's not immediately picking up the phone because of that. Yeah. So like, as in, from this point on, she's going to attempt to not show that she's going to call the cops or yell at him to leave. She's going to try to stay calm. I just feel like there should be some line in there that says something like that. Fair play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is the floors, floor ground, ground floor. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. As a brief aside, I'm surprised at how little grammar there issues there were in this one. Yes. Well, it was that's, too that... short. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that hasn't stopped stories in the past, dude. <laughs> yeah, that really has not. Like, yeah. I, it may be a low bar, but it's just like that, that was the points toward the story was the fact that like it wasn't that incompetent grammar wise. <laughs> but I suppose we'll move on to actual thoughts now. Um, so I'm going to start with this one here. Who is this? And may I ask, how do you know my name? The eerie reply she'd been expecting was delivered without fail. Is this Miss Lucy Wilson? Yes, it is indeed. And who is this? Good heavens, have you any inkling at the hour of eve it is? Bad form, old bean. I don't know why, but like from Lucy's mannerism in the dialogue, I, I got this slight. She kind of came off as like posh British to me. Why? I, I don't you know. You said you don't know why. So I don't yeah, know I don't why. know like why it came, but like, like I think, honestly, I think it was just how like how um, enunciating the story was like, yes, it is indeed. And who is this? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah. And then, like a little bit later, we get um, uh, we get this part here. Uh, I mean, could I meet you in person in somewhere so you could return my phone, or do you prefer to do it by post? But there's no need for that now, Lucy. Just look outside your window. Lucy paused. What was the man talking about? Had he left the phone outside her house? I'm sorry, but why? Just look outside your window. Dot, dot, dot. Just look outside your window. The demanding voice of the man was chilling. Lucy kept silent as she lifted the blinds up slightly, scanning her front garden. Okay, so firstly, yeah, this turn of events, while predictable, it's also a really good creepy moment like this is a part of the st this is a, a something that like if this happened to me i'd be like nope <laughs> like end of, like end of discussion calling the cops and not even like looking out the window just calling the cops mm. but more importantly to what i was saying earlier about like the posh british thing the use of front garden and then like later the back garden area makes mm. me think that this is my earlier comment about the british mannerism may be valid just because of like the use of garden because it's, it's more widely it used front backyard not garden. well it's used in the front yard or the backyard and like i know in, in the uk they tend to do that too so mm. they they tend to refer to the, their their yards as gardens rather than a yard yeah so um again just like i don't know if the, and i don't know if this is the case but like to me now, like because of like the like how I've been re I was reading the story and how I was like picking up little hints or like little little things in the story. To me, Jeff has has moved across the pond and started terrorizing the UK <laughs> in the story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will I will continue with uh, my my comments here. Uh, starting with this quote: "The smartphone had cost a fairly decent amount of money." So she decided to put her address on the local lost and found website. 
is is that a thing? Boston found websites. Um, don't know. It's probably saying that instead of saying like Kijiji or uh, Facebook or yeah, like whatever. I know that there are. I like. I mean, I know communities do have like pages on platforms like Facebook and such. Like, heck, I even like my like like our community has a has a has a community website or a community a community page on Facebook and such. But I, I just like I at first I was like, is that actually a thing? Like a lost and found like a local lost and found website. But I, I suppose yeah, Kijiji is is one of the like actually honestly that's probably what it is. Would it be better if it just said on the internet? Maybe like yeah, or like a local lost and found platform maybe. I don't know. I guess I'm I I I may also just be in my old stuck in my old in like my old age and old ways of like <laughs> what's that lo- local lost and found website back in my day we. We put up posters <laughs> with little tabs of, of with our phone numbers on them. Yeah, <laughs> but that wouldn't work if they put the phone number for the phone you're looking for. <laughs> well, she has a home phone apparently, so <laughs> I don't think she it ever says ha- that it is specifically a home phone. Like this- I assumed it's a landline that she has, and then she's lost her because, well, like, how else is she getting a fucking call <laughs> from her well, cell phone because she lost this cell phone years ago? Then it should have fucking said that she had a new phone, but she had lost one a month ago. I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, she would have replaced her new phone if it was... It had been a month? Yeah, because if you think about a cell phone, you have a cell phone plan, and yeah. why are you paying for a plan if you don't have the phone, and you just go to your carrier and get a new SIM card and a new phone? Yeah, true. I I kind of wish, and honestly, in this case, I kind of wish, like, especially since it had been a month, I kind of wish it had said something more along the lines of like she was using her new phone. The old, like, this whole ordeal had cost her uh, a lot of money because she had to get a second phone because she lost the first one, and now this guy is returning her her old phone. But what an asshole! Yeah, <laughs> what a di- <laughs> what a dick there, Jeff. Uh-huh. Uh, to to quote Doctor Evil, "Way to go, a hole." <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh. But yeah, I, I digress. I'll, I'll move on to the next thing I have here. I realize that we've been talking all this time, but I still don't know your name. What can I refer to you as? You can call me Jeff. The phone hung up. Confused, Lucy sighed and put the phone back in its holder. People were so unpredictable these days. Turning around, she thought she saw a flash in the corner of her eye. However, there was still nothing outside the window, so she began to put the blinds down. R- really? That's that's it? That's that's your response to this matter. You you're just gonna like shrug it off after a guy told you to look out the window. Apparently, Derpland is in the UK. Potentially, <laughs> or there are many Derplands all over the world. Yeah, every <laughs> country has a Derpland. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My God, it's full of derplins. <laughs> or it's that meme with like the astronauts on the moon with the, and the one has like a gun to the other guy. So it's like, wait, it's all derplin? Always has been. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, yeah. But yeah, I was just like, that's that's a that's a choice response that I would not have gone with. <laughs> but all right. <laughs> Uh, moving on to the next thing here. Suddenly, she saw a face appear out of nowhere on the other side of the window pane. Lucy screamed as she instinctively, as she instinctively backed away, dropping the blinds down with a crash. The face was shrouded in an instant, but she could have sworn she'd seen it. Its wide, bulging eyeballs were surrounded by shriveled-up black eyelids, and its face was bleach white. It had a dry, bristly fringe of black hair and a smile carved into its face, almost severing the jawbone from the rest of the skull. Lucy couldn't even tell if it was a human face or not. Whatever it was, she'd never been more terrified in her life. Okay, okay. So, like, yeah, the old comment of how did she see, how did she get so many details and a sudden appearance and disappearance of the face? <laughs> Like, 
all right, there's that thing where it's like, because it just appeared and then reappeared. And it's like, it's been burned into my vision for I can never unsee that face. Here are all the details that I saw within an instant of seeing that face. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. aside. That it's aside. Kind of like in the, it's, <laughs> okay, I'll let you do your aside. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that that aside, like I just I, I just want to comment because like uh, we gotta get that out of the way. <laughs> that comment about it. That we've come to know and loathe. I kind of like the idea this could have used or had the idea that the outlandish Jeff the Killer face was in fact a mask. Like when it says Lucy couldn't even tell if it was a human face or not, I kind of started thinking it's like I kind of wish this had elaborated m- more on that. That it might have been a guy in a Halloween mask, especially since nowadays in our world, you can get a Jeff the Killer mask at spirit Halloween stores and other like places, among other bootlegged creepypasta masks and costumes. And that's kind of cool on the surface, but also morally dubious. But that's for like a whole other show entirely. <laughs> um I don't I don't know. I like the idea of Jeff uh, of the Jeff that Jeff face that we've come to know and loathe as a mask and it's something like I like that I might even want to see in a store a Jeff the Killer story like sort of like a Phantom the Opera style thing like even if it's not actual an actual like official Jeff the Killer mask and like Jeff grabbed like uh, some other mask and modified it for his own ends to hide his burns and his and his acid face um, I think that would actually sound interesting, and and play out interesting in a in uh play kind of play out with that whole like slasher trope of like the masked killer, which, to the degree like Jeff the Killer is at the end of the day a bunch of slasher tropes, but, yeah for sure. So like I I think the uh, the idea of like his ma- his face is so outlandish and kind of goofy sometimes when you like describe it or when you like see some of the photoshops work of it, it's like, yeah, what if that's just a mask? Like, what if it's actually like more like his his face is is just disfigured because of the acid burns or the 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 fire the the, the fire burns? So he wears a mask, a la like uh, Jason Voorhees or uh, even again like the Phantom of the Opera. And so, like when people see that face, that's what they think it's his face, but it's actually just the prosthetic or like it's a mask that he's wearing. You could kind of almost say I wear no mask <laughs> as well. Yeah, well, of course you could have like the king in yellow. And again, you could even have a king in yellow element to it as well if you want. Um, though, do you really want to defile the 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 the, the king's um? You're rep? right. You're right. <laughs> Gamer, I, I'm gonna go to the character for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Confessions at the Church of the King in Yellow. It's like yeah, it's never like, a good time, but I gotta do it now. It's like King. Uh, it's been it's been te- it's been uh, four months since my last confession. Um, today I went on a show and comp- uh, suggested that uh, Jeff the Killer would be on the King in Yellow, and then all you hear on the other side of the confession booth is like, "I wear no mask," and then you're just like, "No mask, no mask," and you start ripping off your own face. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. Go with go with the king, my son. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah, she, and yeah. So the that was my idea that kind of popped in my head as she was describing like the face that she wasn't even sure if it was human or not. It's like that would actually be cool. Like if Jeff the Killer story had that, like Jeff was wearing a mask and that's why his face was so goofy, um, like so like edge ed, like spooky uh, spooky, I guess like sil- like kind of silly silly spooky is because it's actually not a real face. It's a rubber mask that he's he's carved or, or modified it might also so, not even be jeff yeah exactly it could be a copycat killer mm-hmm. it could be the it could be just the kittens <laughs> the copycat kitten the copy kittens <laughs> <laughs> oh man i can't damn it then we're kind of going into like the book of, of like the uh like jigsaw and his cult of like followers kind of vibe like there was an original jeff the killer and then there's like a cult of like copycat killers. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's a shame the story doesn't actually go with that and just kind of goes with the standard Jeff the Killer vibe. But moving on. <laughs> uh, and then we there's an image in halfway through this story <laughs> that shows Jeff like holding up a like it, it's the Jeff the Killer face from like the iconic Jeff the Killer photo or f- Photoshop job. But it's like been modified even further in a Photoshop of a of like a window. Like he's poking through the window. Like he's, his face is like poking through the window, and he's got a phone. <laughs> he's holding up. It's like, ha ha! I have your phone. Ah ah ah! 
What is he, I'm... Newman from, from Jurassic Park now? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I I looked at the photos like, wow. I mean, it it's it's serviceable. Like it's a it's serviceable Photoshop what? work. No. <laughs> hey, well, fuck you. Just no. <laughs> My 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 I I it's it's fine it's 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 serviceable for, like for like a Photoshop job but like what's the reason for it in this story like it for me like I feel like a, a like a photo ha- either in a story either has to be at the top as like a title card kind of thing or if you're gonna have it midway through a story it should be something in te- like integrated with the story like she took a photo of it with her second phone that she bought because she lost her phone a month ago. And so, like, this is a photo that was found by police on her phone of, like, the killer that attacked her. But it's not that at all. So, like... Also, because she only saw it for half a second, she wouldn't have time to have the phone out. Exactly. My point. Like, this story... This this photo doesn't need to be here because it really doesn't serve any other purpose other than being kind of a a title card. Like, it it basically is kind of like a title card for the story, but it's, like, halfway through the story. So, like, what's... Why would you have your title card halfway through the story? Unless you were going to integrate it into the story, which you don't. <laughs> so, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It kind of breaks. I, I guess to, uh, for like on on what on some level, it kind of for me it breaks the immersion of the story because like it doesn't have a purpose in the story in the lore outside of this is what probably what Lucy saw in the window. But how do we have this photo? <laughs> mm. So yeah. Um. That that's my my comment on the image is I don't think it's really necessary, especially where it is in the story. Yep. Um. So and then we get this one this comment here. Uh, what horrified her even more was the fact that she wouldn't be able to call the police because the man would be listening right outside her house. He would be able to smash the window and get at <clears throat> get in at any minute. After that, there would be. No knowing what would happen to her. I mean, regardless, you might be screwed. So you might as well still call the cops. Like, it honestly can't hurt the situation any more than you're already, like, hurt. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, it might, and it might even, and like, if this guy isn't actually like the deranged chef, the killer, maybe it's like a, like a copycatter, like some kind of prankster, like weirdo, it might even deter the intruder. <laughs> but so, um, it might actually give a little bit of um credence to the idea that she doesn't have a cell phone though, because if she had a cell phone, she'd potentially go nine one one and just back. But if she's locked to a landline, she would have to stay in the house on the phone call while he's breaking. Well, up. well, it's I think it's a cordless home phone, but you know? again, we don't have that detail because well, it's well, she puts it in a in a in a, uh, in a dock, but oh, yeah. like. But it could still be corded, unfortunately, with that in that situation too. So, yeah. Uh, and the other issue is that um, they say that you can call nine one one from a landline, and you don't have to speak. Uh, they will send someone if they, because a it's an emergency line. Yeah. <laughs> And B, you can leave it on, and they can hear the window smashing. Exactly. Like, that's fair. Like, uh, yeah, I think as the service, like, if they don't hear anything, they still have to send somebody out there because you called. Like, it's only if you say it's like only if you like respond, like, oh, sorry, I'm a wrong number. They still dialed. <laughs> Miss dialed. They still have to. They still have to um, uh, yeah. file a report about that because yeah. it's mm-hmm. like due diligence. So, yeah. She honestly had nothing to lose for just calling 911 and just putting the phone down and then running. Yep. Like she could have done that, but she didn't. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and I get it. It's it's kind of like a snap, like a, um, it's a, uh, like a, I don't know what the word, a snap, a quick snap, or like a, like decision. Uh, mm-hmm. So like maybe she just, in that moment, like she didn't, uh, she didn't uh, proceed how she should have because it was like, in the heat of the moment, she chose she poorly. Was, she but. was just thinking about how 
she can't call the cops because of this. Yeah, but she's also in a panic state, so maybe she just like she she was thought of it, and then her panic mind was like, no, there's no point, there's no time, there's no point. And even though there was time, there was point. Logic didn't kick into her brain. Like you could yeah. argue that. Um, yeah. I I think it's still stupid, <laughs> but you could argue that. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Uh, I'll move on to the next and actually my last actual thought here uh, with this quote here. Jeff grabbed her legs and pulled her off the wall, slamming her onto the ground. Tears filled her eyes as she begged him to spare her. She tried to pull herself away and his foot was planted firmly on her back, pinning her to the ground. He tilted his head and pulled out a knife, tracing the path of his Tracing the path of his cut along her throat. Lucy whimpered, staring into his eyes in fear. Uh, how? Yep. Is she on her back or belly? Because <laughs> yeah, I... she, she wouldn't be able to really stare into his eyes if Jeff has a foot on her back to keep her pinned. She'd also not really be able to see him pull a knife until it was like, in her periphery at an at that angle she so doesn't see it the narrator could, sees it this isn't a first person account. that's true that's fair and um, i had the same thought as you like how is she seeing this but then i thought about it and i'm like okay so foot is on the back but like that doesn't mean she's not as stiff as a board like she can turn her head to the side so she's probably like side eyeing him as yeah it's happening the the problem here is like I need more details then because like the way yeah. she it just says like staring into his eyes like I I immediately attribute that in my head to her being on her back staring up at Jeff but like no she's like has her head tilted yeah or has her head like moves to the side thing. yeah yeah but also that he tilted his head and pulled out a knife tracing the path to his cut along throat to cut along her throat I. He tilted his head like shouldn't it be like like he he maneuvered his he he uh like brought his head down to her level or something like that like maybe put that there yeah. as he pulled out a knife so that that way like again then she can start staring into his eyes as she as he kills her <laughs> but um well for me I believe that the this last paragraph was probably written before the author decided to have them go outside. Um, oh, maybe. Oh, which because is the why, because it has the floor mentioning. And okay, so like she didn't make it. Like he, he, they made they because some authors do that or some writers do that. They write a scene and then they write the rest of the story around a scene. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, the thought process there is that they forgot to go back to this paragraph because they. They thought it was the penultimate or awesome paragraph, so I don't need to change it because it's awesome. It's yet it doesn't scene. fit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> because it's awesome tool scene. <laughs> because the whole placing the foot planted firmly on her back is the previous paragraph. Yeah. Yep. So. Then if they didn't go back and change the kill scene and may have forgotten, like, oh, right, she was on her front, not her back. Whoops. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you guys have this in your notes, and if you guys do, stop me. Does this not feel like the opening kill scene to like Jeff Returns? <laughs> yeah, it kind of like does, the yeah. movie. <laughs> Just because of how quick it is. Yeah, it honestly feels like the kill the kill scene from Scream. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, like with Drew Barrymore, and like, and then like it cuts away, and like it's like the next day, or like, and uh, it's like the kids are the, the main protagonist who did, you thought Drew Barrymore was the main kill was the main protagonist. Turns out she was just the first kill, and then it cuts away to like the next day after like she's been slashed, and it's at the school, and like the kids like are getting introduced to the the, the whole situation of like that one of their student former students have been killed and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's basically like this felt like like the start of jeff returns not the whole thing of jeff returns <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah uh but yeah that is that is my actual thoughts so mikey d stands for evil all right uh, so my first actual thought i have the quote here and a bit that i added uh hello 
Who is this? She asked, rolling her eyes as she glanced down to the floor. Lucy, I know what you did last summer. <laughs> yeah. Do you like scary movies? Would you like to play a game? <laughs> like every slasher slide ever. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> the phone call was coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the police officer? Shut up. <laughs> But yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> it was very much that kind of like line or setup. All right. Uh, do and then going back to the picture. Okay. Yeah, you were uh, very like Adam is like no, that's a shitty Photoshop job. <laughs> yeah. If you zoom in on the um, phone, you'll realize that it's not uniform. All right, as me, most me, phones me, are. Me photo- oh my. Okay, now that I've now that I've uh, zoomed in and enhanced, <laughs> they they try to like they try to blur Jeff's face a little bit to kind of go in with the blurriness of the window, except for that <laughs> that phone is very clear suddenly. <laughs> well, I think it's clear because it's on, like the screen is lit. I guess no, but like, no, I, I that's not what I mean. I mean like so. The surrounding like photo, like the actual like photo that they used as a base, like for the thing, is is blurry. So there go even the photo, the the the, the cell phone should be the same blurriness because it's the the the, the camera took that the is the uh, the camera is what made that photo blurry, not the Photoshop job. Also, is it just me or is his hand huge? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, I may I may rescind my my comment about this being a, a decent Photoshop job. It's not the it's not great. I mean, it's okay, but it's not the best. What's yeah. with all the like green and red all over the screen? Um, that's uh, to symbolize a broken LCD. Yeah. So oh. the screen's actually broken. <laughs> yeah, I see. Um, and what, what phone is that? Is that like it, an it's LG? A, it's a fake <laughs> phone. Okay. It's basically a Nokia phone, but with an LCD screen. I'm guessing they didn't do that. <laughs> they didn't have that. No, no, <laughs> they didn't. Because as soon as we sort of went to the LCD screen, we added touch functionality and gotcha. got rid of the whole circle to go left, right, up, down, and VA select start. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, yeah, this story did come out in twenty. This this was posted twenty fourteen. So, yeah, still, yeah, we, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were still around, but still, it's an amalgamation of phones that, yeah. <laughs> and the big thing is, like, if you look at the lines on the phone, the line on the LCD at the bottom is straight, but the line at the top of the LCD is on an angle. Yeah, it's skewed. They didn't. They didn't uh, properly um, reshape the screen to fit into the Nokia screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it should be uniform. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. All right, I'll give you that one, Mikey, on the uh, the Photoshop <laughs> job of the fo- of the phone and such. Yeah. <laughs> I just want, I just like to point out I I just want to again not rephrase but I'd like to like reinstate I didn't I wasn't saying that the photo was a like masterpiece of art I was just saying it was serviceable for yeah a potential it, like title card but unfortunately it's not even a title card in the story it's yeah. like halfway through the pit, the photo so anyway yeah, it's we'll, a reveal that doesn't reveal anything really. exactly yeah yeah and I mean if you zoom all the way out and you squint at it it's like oh yeah that looks like it's a phone and yeah not go into the details but yeah, if you're looking at it yeah. if, you're, if you're if you're looking at it like on the wiki site like I, that's my other problem i took i took like a look at it from the wiki site i didn't zoom in until like just now so like yeah. as i'm like scrolling through i was like yeah that's serviceable and then i can keep going because it served no purpose <laughs> yeah it did serve I, no purpose <laughs> I, I, I think, oh, that's, that's serviceable no purpose but serviceable wrote down my note and then kept going <laughs> Yeah. All right. And I have a note here that doesn't make any sense anymore. So I'm done. Okay. <laughs>
Uh, then next up is Gamer. It is. What do you got, buddy? I got a few, I suppose. Uh, my first one is kind of a elaboration on what I sort of said in my grammar. Because okay. basically, she didn't want to call the cops, fearing that he'd break in if she did. So she runs away, causing him to break in because she did. You know, like, and yeah, we said that she wasn't exactly thinking rationally, freaking out, rolled poorly on her sand check, all that. But it sort of makes the whole previous statement of her saying that she didn't want to call the cops or he'd break in unnecessary. Because it kind of sounded like he was setting it up, being like, okay, I'm going to try to stay calm and just talk to this guy so nothing goes wrong. But then that doesn't happen. Yeah. And then he just immediately <clears throat> breaks it. So, yeah. And it kind of seems like that wasn't even really fully her thought process at the moment. Of her saying, like, I need to not piss this guy off because he could murder me. So maybe it should be reworded to something like, she tried her best to stay calm and to think about what to do, but the stress of the such that words. She tried her best to stay calm and think about what to do, but the stress of the situation built up and Lucy started to cry. With her hand over her mouth, she turns and ran, and ran sobbing, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You could so also even have, like... That it's like, it's getting worse and worse and she can't handle it. Yeah, you could also even add in like a detail about like the incessant knocking um, from the window and even the wall near like next to the window like was was too much to bear like something like that as well because there is like multiple times where it's like knock 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 let me in knock, knock, like that kind of thing so mm -hmm. and it kind of does that because like after the second knock it's like beads of sweat rolled down the side of Lucy's face yeah blah, blah. but I just feel like it didn't escalate it just went from zero to a hundred. Yeah, of her just kind of half casually just staying in the house to the to all of a sudden, especially since like uh, like moments before like the jump scare, she she was ready to just kind of like the, this creepy guy on her on a, on a phone claiming to have her fo her phone and asking her to look outside her window, uh, like there's nothing there, and then the guy hung up. He's like, oh, that's weird. It's people today, man, just click. All right, I'll I don't know how she didn't like, go. Like, like, wait, how do you know where I live? Yeah. Also, be a little bit more fuck. Like that's that's a, that's way more fucked up than she's like reacting to. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have like, even looked at the window. Like, no, if this person exactly. <laughs> did know where you live, you could have been standing there with a gun, ready to go. <laughs> exactly. It's like, look out the window, huh? Bam. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Or even like, doesn't you need to be gun? She, he could have just like, if he's a psycho, he might just punch through the window, grabbed you, and then eviscerated you as you went through, as he forced to fetisterated you through the window. <laughs> Yep, because like it wasn't yeah. fully a Jeff the Killer situation, it could have just been a creeper out there that started taking pictures of you or whatever. Yep, as he starts stalking you now, mm -hmm. or even like again, just like he could have flashed you, and then you'd have like that those horrible images in your head. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, there's there's again, looking out the window is not the is not the good move. <laughs> also, I, I gotta say, there was um reference to her going to the window to put the blinds down. Mm -hmm. Look at the picture. Yeah, you're right. There's no blinds. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. Gonna zoom in and enhance. No, there's no blinds. Even like even the like I thought like the the other window kind of looked like it had like curtains or something. Like that. No, I think those. That just means I think it's just like either a a, a um Rossi. either an art an artifacting of the of the image or they are. No, that's a uh, mesh screen on it. I think. Yeah, I, that's what I'm. Yeah, it's it's probably like a mesh screen or like a, a frosting. At the, bottom, of the, of the, yeah. at the bottom right of that, you can see the little winder. So that side open, yeah. the left side doesn't. Yeah, yeah, that's a screen. That there's no, there's absolutely no blinds on that in that photo. This photo does not need to exist whatsoever for the story. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I'm. I, hey, I don't. I don't care. Mm -hmm. But either way, long story short, yeah. I, I feel like there should be something saying that she's trying to stay cool, but she can't, and she, then she breaks and runs. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Maybe, like, yeah, even, like, maybe her shrugging it off and, like, people these days thing could have been, like, there's going to be a little thing. It's, like, she was trying very desperately to uh, calm herself, keep herself calm or, like, wear a mask of of of, uh, of nonchalance or something like that. Mm -hmm. on even situation. so, when this guy is just knocking on her, her window mm -hmm. 
basically saying let me in or whatever he was saying you know call the cops yeah call the cops yeah even just call the cops like and if you want to like if you're if you're thinking like if you're gonna go the route of like bailing on your on this or, or run out the opposite part of the house like call the cops leave the phone down or if it's like a cordless phone keep the phone as you run <laughs> yeah because yeah and like for um author wise like of writing a story and not wanting the hero to get out of it or the hero the protagonist to get out of it just because she called the cops doesn't mean that anything would would have changed it's just it's the more rational thing. Yeah. Agreed. Because unless she lives right next to the police station, you're not <laughs> getting there in time. Yeah. Like tops two two to five minutes, like at the earliest in, for most in most cases. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I will move on from there. Okay. She searched the cabinets wildly and fumbled for a key at the bottom. Grabbing it, she slammed the doors shut and unlocked the back door. So, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Would she be able to unlock the door from the inside without a key? Dude. Like, if it's a deadbolt or a normal lock, normal modern lock, the inside would you just twist it and it unlocks. So, unless I'm missing yeah. something, this only works in ye olden time, like back in the day when now, a lock is operated by a key on both sides of the door. Yeah. Unless, like, again, maybe uh, now again, if this isn't the you, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm making just an assumption here. I know what that means in, on this show. <laughs> uh, it makes an ass of me and an umption, <laughs> but <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, but if this is, if, if this is like what I think it is, like in the UK, maybe she's living in an older house that re- does have that has like an older style of lock on the door. Um, and that might even be the case if it's in the in in America or somewhere else in the world. I don't know, but okay. But that that, that is can be used. Yeah. That can yeah. be used as a a device to slow her down. Oh, as I agree. Jeff is coming in and in her mind being like, "Shit, I have old. I was. I should just be able. To I should have updated. Like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> curse you! I should have gone to Home Depot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also, um. He's at the window. He's not at the front door. So why can't she just leave the front door? I I would not go for the front door. If this is the front Oh, well, it depends. Again, we need to know we we need to know a layout cuz like my my general assumption was that the uh she's looking at the front uh, the the window to the front garden, i.e. the front yard. Oh, was it the there, front garden? Yeah. Yeah. So there go um the, the front door is probably right nearby. So like you probably don't want to go that route. I, I understood you're why right. she was going through the, for the back door. Yep, you're so, right. Okay. Okay, that part makes sense. But regardless. Yeah. Add some if you're you're gonna put obstacles in the way, we have the ability to hear her thoughts and being like so like add that to give her more character and add more tension. Yeah, make us make us care about Lucy. Mm-hmm. So then uh and my last note is basically there's no real reason that Jeff needed to have the phone on him, aside from just being a dick. I assume, <laughs> I assume using it to call her, but yeah, if yeah. that image is correct, which it probably isn't, um, it's broken so he wouldn't be able to use it to call her. And all, well, regardless, he wouldn't have her new phone number any. Oh, actually, no, the phone number was on the ad. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Regardless. Um, like, for him to show up and, and kill her, He's just doing that by finding the address of someone who has lost a phone. He's just using that as an excuse. So why did he bother actually finding the phone? Um, maybe again, <laughs> be a twisted asshole. It's just like, well, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I did tell her to go to sleep before I killed her too. So <laughs> yeah, that is the, the proper way to do it. Yeah. Also, yeah, I feel like this is like the phone thing. The, going back to that phone, that image apparently this image is getting a lot more t- uh, time than I expected in this, yeah. in this episode. I feel like easy fix would have just make give the, give that uh, the screen a glow that the because ca- like I've taken photos of like television screens in the dark or like even of like a phone in the dark. It doesn't matter if there's something on that screen. If you're like dep- like from the distance away, the, the 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 photo the camera here is to to the phone and Jeff in the window. It, you shouldn't be able to see anything on that screen. It should just be a, a white blur and glow <laughs> from the screen. Yeah. 
So like at night, if it was during the day, that's one thing, but it's night. Yeah. So like it definitely should have had more of a glow to it, especially like even like some highlights around the edges of the window. Like if you want to do the Photoshop work on that. Um, but like that way, like it gets rid of the whole, like, why is the screen broken? Also, that's not the same screen for a Nokia, whatever that cell phone is. So this is completely fo- like fabricated shotgun. Uh, <laughs> no, there's no fabricated shotgun, really. It's a fabricated, sh- uh, <laughs> fabricated uh, cell phone. <laughs> I almost said shell phone. <laughs> um, but, and again, like, because that, then uh, that way, the phone isn't broken in any way. So that's how Jeff was able to, like, get into it, find her address, or and find her, or even more importantly, find her number to to call from there. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, again, I don't really yeah. fully get how he got the address, because unless she put her address in the phone. Some people do that in their phones. I guess. Yeah. Because what was on the um, or the even found thing just for new phone number to contact her. I'm assuming. I, I guess yeah. That that would have been my guess. Like hey, like if you see this phone, it'll probably like an image. Well, probably like a description of the phone because it like she wouldn't have a photo of her phone. Um, because if you did, it would probably like that's. You I'm like give a stock image of it though. Yeah, you get a stock image of the phone, and then like, um. Yeah, just basically a number that she can be reached at, or like a, an email she can be reached at, mm-hmm. is my guess for like what, for these kind of like lost and found uh, platforms or websites. Mm-hmm. I feel like this whole phone thing was. <laughs> I'm surprised we're still talking about it, but regardless, um, it's underused the potential of it. Yeah, because like him having the phone did nothing. Because he, he may have just tracked her down just by through the phone number. Like he's exactly, walking yeah. around, see someone missing a phone, like an ad. Or I'm I'm acting like it's on a freaking. Uh, uh, what I, I know exactly. Like yeah, exactly. The internet, and he sees this. He's like, okay, that's someone I can kill. Sure, why yeah. not? I'll go track this person down. Yeah, but I mean, like you, he might be able to. Kind of unnecessary. Yeah, and like he might be able to access. Uh, well, actually, yeah, he wouldn't even need the phone because if if she provided a phone number which would be a home phone number. He could go either on a, in a phone book or in like a phone directory. And I mean, back at least like early on in like, I, I maybe this, I don't know if this is the same nowadays, but like most phone books and stuff of like that or phone directories had the address that the phone was associated to because there was a landline, but hmm. That's so we give credence uh, to why this was a thousand or the T eight hundred was it eight hundred the original uh, the T eight hundred yeah the, yeah like yeah, the, 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 the found like the right. found like six or seven Sarah Connors and just went yeah. to each door and cu- and gunned them down mm-hmm. <laughs> Sarah Connor yes <laughs> with a giant like red like like toy like nowadays toy laser pointer <laughs> yeah hilarious but, yeah. regardless yeah so <laughs> the phone. <laughs> okay i you know i gotta this say the, I, I, I love how at, yeah yeah okay that's yeah. what i'm trying to get at it's underused because he could have used it basically as a way to actually get to his kill yeah. but he didn't it was just it was there like maybe he had the phone number to call her and he's just being like yeah i have your phone and he's lying um yeah but he's using that to track down where this person is saying yeah i have your phone um uh, where do you live so I can come and drop it off? And then he goes to her place and it's like an apartment or something. Um, and if he does have the phone, actually, he literally yeah. goes out and finds the phone for her, calls her, says, I have your phone. Where where can I drop it off? And she's like, oh, yeah, come to the apartment. Um, here's my address. And then like he knocks it, he, he buzzes or something. And um, he looks out the window and he's like holding the phone or whatever. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, he actually has it and I'll let him up then he has access to it but him having the phone is completely unnecessary yeah yeah really it really is <laughs> like mm. like it could have been his phone he was calling from i the only thing i could think of that like might have been handy with having her phone specifically when he called her like using that phone is that her home phone might register that the phone number was her number there go she would be more inclined to pick up the phone in her house if there was a cold display thing if there was a cold display yeah we yeah which we don't we yeah we don't get any detail about that so it's pointless (laughs) Mm -hmm. yeah 
the rotary dial phone or something for all we yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I know. I, I think it's I, again, it, it, like the, it kind of oh, yeah, dock. When yeah, dock. there's a, there's there's some kind of a, a docking station or something like that. So it's either like a corded home phone like that, or, or it's a it's a cordless phone. Hmm. But yeah, I think man, we got really hung up on phone. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I I kind of got the I, I kind of got the idea that we might get hung up on a phone in this one because what as soon as I saw the image, I was like, oh man, it's cr- it's the it's the it's the worst best crossover ever, Jeff the Killer versus Who Was Phone. Don't say it again. <laughs> oh, I'll say it again. In the sequel, why was phone? <laughs> yeah, that's what this is. That's what the the code name is for this one. Why yeah. was phone? Well, actually, no. Technically, oh, this one should be Where Was Phone. <laughs> Because where was her phone? It was with Jeff. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm good uh, to go on to final thoughts. Okay. Uh, all right, so yeah, on to the final thoughts. So apparently Jeff has returned, traveling to the UK this time. Uh, again, potentially. Um, I'm just kind of just be living in the states. I have a neighbor down the street that's from England. <laughs> I, I'm not uh, again I, it's fair that that is that is a that is a fair cop. Like they might just call yeah because yeah British people when they come to Canada or like the states might just call their front yard or uh, the garden because that's what they grew up with. I, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll rescind with that. However, regardless, so like Star Wars where every planet is one biome where like every yeah. country is one race of people. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Especially North America, since we are kind of a melting pot. Yes. Um, but yeah. Um, with so yeah, this story. Um, it had potential, but it doesn't quite follow through with any of it. <laughs> like again, the mask, like a masked killer angle for Jeff the Killer would have been cool. Um, what we brought up. Uh, what you guys have brought up with the the phone and like like or the use the the not use of a phone or like how they could have used the phone or the phone number and some of that like that wasn't really followed through with. Um, it kind of now that I'm thinking about it, it basically it does kind of fall into that issue of like it feels like this was the starting kill of a bigger story, but we don't get the bigger story. Like mm. it's like like th- when when Jeff kill says go to sleep at the end and kills uh, Lucy. That's when the title drops of like Jeff returns, and then it yeah. cuts out to like fades away to another scene of the story where we actually get to see the the main protagonist slash uh, victims of Jeff. Mm. Um, but it doesn't happen, so it's kind of a shame. Uh, so that's that's honestly why I'm not going to recommend it is because it's there's a lot of potential here, but not a lot of follow through or like consideration to those potentials. So. That's that's my stance on it, Mikey. These stands for evil. Uh, yeah, the the whole phone situation. Uh, it just didn't drive well with me, uh, yeah. and the image didn't help. And uh, the the last paragraph that mentions floor. When clearly they're outside, and then the whole debacle there, where they probably wrote that paragraph and then wrote the rest of the story. Um, yeah, that may also be a dialect thing. Maybe like if this, uh, if the writer is from the UK, or whatever, I don't know why we keep assuming. UK. I that's just oh, again, it's it's, it's assumption. Stuff. It's 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 it, I'm assuming, and I will cr- I will carry that cross. <laughs> That's fair. Unlike but regardless, that, yeah. it, it could be in a different dialect. All yeah. it, whatever you're standing on, regardless if it is outside natural or inside, it is floor. Yeah, possible because I don't know all dialects, but that's the only nitpick I can throw in there. Okay. Yeah. I got in the nook. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and uh, cultist issue of how. Are they locking eyes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when yeah, she's clearly on her stomach. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, is he like, is he, has he like, see that? Cause at that point, the only way I could see it happening is like, he's kneeing her, like the back of her, like she's, he's like put a knee on her back and is like crouched down and like 
getting to ground level like with his knife like ready to slit her throat or something yeah. while staring at her as she like whimpers and looks at him like at his horrible face and then that would have been a good moment to have her like see his face in full and, and be even more horrified because holy shit yeah and get a second round of describing it in exactly detail. like oh my god it was a mask there <laughs> but no we don't get that mm-hmm. yeah yeah, the it and the other thing that I sort of thought of is that if you recall the first Jeff the Killer, he killed bullies. Yeah, and then then killed his family, which yeah, who were also kind of bullies, except for and Lou. We're not <laughs> sure if Lou 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 is kind of like left off. Like, did he get killed or did he not get killed? Yeah, because which like were you read? Yeah, depending on the story. Again, and that's the thing about Jeff the Killer. Like, he's either a like a preteen, like edgy, like hero, like vigilante hero character that that teens like squee over uh, because he kills bullies and like is super edgy and cool, or he's a complete psycho because of the trauma that he endured from from the from his uh, injuries and such, and he just kills everybody. Mm-hmm. It it's Jeff the Killer is kind of like a mixed bag of like his motives. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, it, it would have been nice if they somehow brought the bully aspect into it. Oh, for sure. Somehow like, yeah. The, to give us a bit more of a reason why he's going after her, not just because she lost her phone. Yeah. Or even like if she was acting like, like a Karen <laughs> uh, on mm-hmm. the phone about like, about him, like, like, or like where they wanted to, where they need to meet up and stuff to get the phone. Like if he was being, if she started getting like really like um, bitchy about it and stuff like that. Like I could see that being like, Oh, she's like, we kind of get a little bit of her personality in, in like come to light uh, that she's kind of like a, like maybe she maybe didn't deserve dying, but like in, in Jeff's eyes, she's a bully and there go yeah. dead. You know what? <laughs> they could use that as um, a way to kind of expand on this as in like, Jeff literally found the phone and was literally just going to give it back to her, but she and, was being a real bitch. He was being, oh my god, I kind of want to see a Jeff the Killer story where he's just going after Karens. <laughs> like he's and I don't mean people do with good and just kind of like yeah. be a normal guy, but if someone slights him even in the slightest, then he's, he's a mad. yeah. He he goes he goes into Terminator mode and, and goes and kills them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So there's so many ways that you can take the or spin this, but it's not spun at all. Yeah, it's just the potential's mm-hmm. there. It's just not followed through. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to continue not recommending this. Fair enough. Gamer. I will also not recommend it. Our, our talk didn't really help the story for what's there. It gave a, yeah. a lot of potential for what it could be, whether it actually is Jeff doing, trying to do the right thing, but snapping or it's a copycat killer or X, Y, Z option. Yeah. We, yeah. There's lots of ways to spin it. Didn't go any of the ways. So what's there isn't really enough. There's no meat on the bone. It's basically just bones. Um, Yeah. It's basically just a random kill with no story around it. And the phone's, not really used as a a plot element at all. And it could have been. <laughs> yeah, for sure. There's so many things that could have been used but weren't. Yeah, I really like the I now that we've like we've we've it's been brought up, I really like the idea that like Jeff was actually gonna head give her her phone back, but like yeah. she was being a bitch. So like in his eyes, death. <laughs> yep. It's like it's like uh there's actually a, a Halloween movie where Michael Myers comes out comes out of the morgue like revitalized no is it michael myers it might be no i think it's jason Voorhees comes out of a morgue after being resurrected and he was gonna spare these two like security guards but then one of them like called him a name and he immediately turned around and killed them wow (laughs) like they're just like it's like both of them just because it's like Nice, nice. Uh, I think he was like, I think, I think it was like, even just like, a, it was just like a minor, like, slight. It was like, nice mask, uh, nice mask, man. Or like, or it was, it was not, it was not that. It was like something a little bit more vulgar. 
but it it was funny too because it was J- it was it was Kane Hodder who played uh Jason at one point getting killed by Jason. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, cuz he was playing one of the security guards. Nice. <laughs> uh i can't remember which one it was i think it's jason lives um and yeah it's yeah he he sp- he was gonna spare them and then one of them fucking gave him lip <laughs> and so he turned around and killed them <laughs> mm-hmm. uh but yeah yeah like that's i I'd, I'd be down for for a jeff like that like a jeff that's just like he that it's pro it's it's properly falls in line with his morality compass as well as also making him kind of a powder keg like his you don't want to you don't want to like slight him at all ever and like he otherwise he's a nice guy but as soon as he something happens like there's a trigger that just he goes off (laughs) yeah so yeah Mm. but again not in this story (laughs) Mm -hmm. so potential none of it really capitalized on so for what's here i i still can't recommend it Although yeah. I like a lot of the ideas that we came up with. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, that's this week's episode. Uh, full round non-recommendation. Sadly. <laughs> uh, especially given the, uh, the the brainstorm session we just had with the, or like our uh, comments and such on this. Mm-hmm. But if you like what you heard or if you didn't, leave us a comment in the comment section below where this gets posted, whether it be on Podbean, Facebook, YouTube, or Tumblr. We're all on Twitter. Mikey is at the East Ends for Evil. The Gamer in Yellow is at the Gamer in Yellow, but without that W at the end, because his name is very long. Yeah. And I'm at Review Cultist. You can also send us emails. Go to aldente rigamortis at gmail.com, where you can send us creepastas, SCPs, spooky things. You creep it, we'll peep it. Yeah. And if you'd like to help support our show financially, go to Patreon. Go to El Dente Rigamortis and select the back of tier you'd like to support us at. We have $2 and $5 tier with special episodes, early access, extra content. To our patrons that are helping support the show, thank you immensely. Your hope and keep those hosting bills at bay. And as always, we very much appreciate that. And to our listeners and the authors of these stories, thank you immensely. Because without your listenership, it'd be like screaming into the void. And honestly, like, again, like we we... We were very critical about this Jeff the Killer story, but if you didn't write this down and have the courage to post online for people to look at and read and criticize or enjoy, depending on how they do, we really wouldn't have much of a show because we'd have nothing to talk about. Like, we don't do this hatefully. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and like, this is we always yeah. tend to find good in everything. Yeah, like all of our ideas here. There's always a passion behind it. Like, you want yeah. to get something across. Like all of the all the inform- all the things that we came up with today were stemmed from reading this story. Like we we saw the potential in the story, even if it wasn't very good execution on it. Mm-hmm. So regardless of if, when we like recommend or we don't recommend a story, regardless, thank you because we still it, without it we wouldn't be reading a story. So I commend you. Until next time, I have been your host, review cultist. I'm Mikey, the East Ten for Evil. And I'm the Gamer in Yellow. And this has been Aldente Rigamortis. Sleep well. And go to sleep.